Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new to cryptocurrency, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell button. We're going to talk about Ethereum, why Ethereum 2.0 is going to change elements of cryptocurrency, why is it going to improve the Ethereum network, and ultimately why you should be investing, stacking, and accumulating that up all the time. But yeah, currently out with the dog again. It's rather warm today already. It's very, very early, but as you can see, nice little river. But yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and hit that lovely little share button. See you in a bit. Hey, welcome to the channel. Why Ethereum? Well, let's talk about it. But first, if you're new to cryptocurrency and you like my stuff, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button. It is massively appreciated. Now, we are looking at a chart. I'm not going to go too technical because technical analysis can be a bit of a mind boggling experience for a lot of people. We are currently at the burn zone. This region up here is the ouch, do not touch me. You may get your hands burnt. Usually the FOMO realm of the industry. Now, Pulled back a little bit nicely and we've gone again. There's a pullback potentially coming as well. But FOMO is a new art industry. It is the dark art. It creates any price pump. It creates a lot of disgusting behavior in the market because people just FOMO. And people get burned from it. So when you're looking at any sort of coin investment, try and see where we could end up. Now, personally, your entry point could have been yesterday, but ideally I think we will retrace at some point. The MACD is crossing down, the momentum is coming off a little bit. What goes up does come down. Markets go up and down every single day. We know that they do this every day. Doesn't look like it on there, but if you go to a short time frame, it does it. You need to act on it. You need to discover that. Well, what goes up does come down. And you can look at the four hour time frame. Oh, hello. What was up? Uh, 277. FOMO, FOMO, FOMO. Pfft, bye. So look at that. Always consider your entry points. But this is not going to be more about technical analysis. Look at that. Oh, on the button. Found the point. Turned around. Off we go again. So that was a huge drop. From 277 all the way down to 222. That is disgusting. Imagine buying the top of that. You would be wrecked. 90%. Oosh. So there you go. Technical analysis done. Burn zone still, I think. Burn zone. Um, it has retraced, but it will probably retrace again at some point. Looking at the daily time frame. Even if you look at long-term history. If you are a long-term investor. Okay. You've got a long way to go. It's starting to trend up nicely on the weekly, which is always good to see. But look at where the dizzy heights were. If I was going to predict any coin in the future, long term, you've got to pick a coin like Ethereum. I said this at the start of the video, okay? Ethereum has the minerals to do whatever the hell it wants, it depending on its updates, okay? It will do very well. You've got to buy the coins that have got the biggest, biggest network enhancements coming you've got to buy the ones that have improved since the 2011 bull run the ones that have got the best team the ones that have the simple lines of time usage real use case buy them then you diversify down you do not go from the riskiest holds to get the multiple gains when they may fail you want to put profits from this as an investment into those risky bags you do not want to play with your own money that's as simple as that so let's talk about Ethereum. Why Ethereum, Ash? Why? Well, 2.0 is coming. Plasma, sharding, blooming all kinds of random weird and wonderful words that I cannot even describe to you because it is way off my head. I am not a blockchain geek. But fundamentals of a coin investment for long term, I want to talk about it because I think this is a very, very good project anyways. I've always said that. Ethereum, I was playing it down a few months back when it was doing really bad. I was like, oh my God, I was genuinely worried. When you see a coin go from $1,400 all the way down to $80, you're like, what has gone wrong? But when you look at it now and you think, well, these are the changes, this is what's happening. 
the market's totally turned. You've always got to be careful of what you buy. Always do your research. You should know that. And again, I always stress it. Don't copy other people's investments. You will get burnt. Now, when you look at this, you think, right, Ethereum had its issues. I'm going to go through the issues in a minute. But this is a current news. An estimated 30 million will be spent on organizing the project, essentially the, the Ethereum ecosystem. The group said that 19 million will be used over the next 12 months of putting building the Ethereum of tomorrow, basically 2.0. Layer 2, scaling project S Plasma. So it's going to majorly increase. Now, Ethereum, as it currently stands, it's about was it 14 or 15 transactions per second, pretty low. Um, it's not the greatest in terms of fees. It's it's you know it this crashed remember in the 2017 bull run with crypto kitties and all that good stuff now ultimately there's a lot of issues with ethereum as it is right now but this is gonna majorly change the game and put it right at the top and kind of put to bed any rumors of eos for example killing it or ada etc now one thing that I want to mention as well, Ethereum has been around for a while now, since 2015. That is good for cryptocurrency. The longer they've been around, the better they are. Essentially, they've got their own stable coin. They've got this, that, and the other. They've got their own foundation. They are pretty well, well built, and they've got a good amount of investment, which is why they can throw 30 million at their next enhancement, which is good. But like anything in cryptocurrency, it's not a walk in the park. You know that, you should be aware of that, so make sure you do your research. Now, let's talk about Ethereum 2.0. Now, I'm going to say this now. I'm not the most knowledgeable in blockchain. It's good. I understand the basics of it, but all of this stuff, all over my head. I know what Plasma is. I know what Shiden is. I know what Raiden Network is. That is as far as I go. So... In terms of what Ethereum was, I'm going to go through, at the bottom of the article, it's got issues. So we're going to go through the issues first, and then we're going to go through the solutions, which makes more sense. So I already said before, Crypto Kitties killed it, and that was due to scalability. Ethereum had a very big bottleneck at that period where it, the ICO market was astronomically huge. I can pick any coin that was out from... 2017 up to 2018 it would have just went nuts especially the erc20 tokens the ethereum based led tokens now the fundamentals of that were simple all the transactions going through the network buying and selling trading etc but also you have people using the ethereum network to send fees into these icos it was incredible the fees were astronomical you had to pay so much gas to do it it was awful but the scalability was a real big problem it couldn't handle it. It couldn't handle the smart contracts, the dApps. It was very slow, sluggish. Even the financial transactions were getting very expensive. And when the crypto kitties came out, people wanted to buy these electronic kitties with Ethereum. I don't know why it just happened. It was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And honestly, it just went, bang. it went bang. $30, $40 per transaction for Ethereum. Wow. It totally congested and broke the whole network. It just stopped. It just went, nah. I'm having a day off, guys. Sod this. And it just... Bleh, horrible. So, one big problem needed to be solved. And this is one big problem going to be solved. Cool. A solution for the difficulty bomb. The difficulty bomb is the same way as handling the mining issues with proof of work. Proof of stake is now the preferred option for Ethereum. They've swapped over. And that will be coming live in the next couple of months, whenever that may be. But... When you look at Bitcoin, when you look at the previous Ethereum networks, essentially the longer they go on, the difficulty network adjusts due to cryptography and that will create price increase of production, essentially making the process happen. It's going to more electricity, basically more power, bigger units, bigger cooling systems, hotter machines. It's a nightmare. So that is going to be one of the focuses as well of what Ethereum 2.0 does. And then you've got security. They've, had, they've, they've been hacked in the past. Ethereum Classic was the original Ethereum chain, hence why it's still there. They've been hacked, so fundamentals are always going to be different. Now, Ethereum 2.0 solutions. So let's go proof of stake. I've already said it. Solutions such as Beacon and Casper refer to switching how Ethereum is mined. This will create it, make it more secure. It will make it less costly to do it in terms of the miners making it better for the difficulty adjustment allowing people to mine allowing people to allow the system to work 
uninterrupted, cheaper, etc. Sharding, in general, is splitting a large database into more manageable chunks. This is the absolute button. This stops the bottleneck, this stops the congestion, this stops the high fees, this stops the waiting time. This is massive. It's such a big thing. This is like, oh my God, this is Christmas. I, I'm a big Ethereum fan. You can probably tell. I use Ethereum a lot. I'm stacking Ethereum. I'm going to show you how I'm doing it by leverage trading. It is risky, but also, if you look at the future, Ethereum will not be this price forever. You can just see the cast of time. When you look at the market capitalization of 40 million, uh, for, is it? I don't even know what it is now. 40 billion? It might be 40 billion. I now said million, but I got confused. Billion. Market capitalization, that will probably most likely go up in price over time, especially when Ethereum 2.0 is fully operational and it has a lot more dApps using it in a much better way. So sharding is going to be one of the main elements of scalability and transaction speed, making it a lot better. You got eWasp, whatever that is. Um, basically, I don't have a clue what this is, but it's to allow codes to execute faster, you know, the virtual machine essentially, because Ethereum is just a virtual computer that allows you to host apps on it. But I, I've already said, I'm not the biggest blockchain geek. Plasma, this is Plasma and Rider Network is like the 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 blip. Uh, I can't even speak. Bitcoin Lightning Network. It, it allows for scalability off the chain solution where it will just carry on pumping out these transactions at a stupid speed and a lot cheaper. It will make it a lot better. So it doesn't have to be always on the chain. It, even though there's sharding, you can have off the chain stuff as well. So it makes it much better. Now, this bottom stuff here. This is kind of more of the interesting kind of stuff like the, the metropolis in terms of their, their roadmap and the, the kind of the stuff that they've got names for. Like each phase of this introductory kind of update essentially is going to go up until 2021. So it's going to be a long time, which is why I think Ethereum will do very well. I think projectory now, with the start of the bearish run coming to a complete and utter end, into a bull run, okay? Eventually, over this time of this year, with the halving of Litecoin, with the halving of Bitcoin coming, Ethereum's gonna be a key element of that with this update. They're gonna be running this update for a period of two to three years, getting it all fully up to speed. And then from there on, it's their own oyster, really. They've got the full market capitalization to take care of what they're doing in terms of being the number one DAP solution. And I think Ethereum could well be that. Now, this is more interesting as well, Every aspect of Ethereum 2.0 offers the answers of, of, of the above. The previous problems, if Ethereum can come out of a potential parabolic bull run with their heads held high, with their, their, their the whole credibility there, they've, they've not had any issues, hiccups, they will be incredibly good in terms of the market and strength. I think they will probably be a very, very high valued coin. Remember, this has been $1,400 without any of these kind of potential updates that are coming and they've got money to throw it. They can throw money at this. They've got a massive foundation, a massive list of, you know, investors willing to put money into Ethereum. So it's going to do very, very well long term. So that's pretty much it for this. I mean, I don't want to get too carried away with it, but I do want to mention the links below. If you want to learn about cryptocurrency, check out the links. Check out and get in my Telegram. Simple as that. You will learn a hell of a lot of stuff. And my channel is full of content anyway, so please do go through it. But if you want to learn how to like grow your Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin or XRP, check out the Bybit link, okay? I will help you out, okay? My Telegram we teach trading my premium we teach leverage trade and we do all kinds of stuff it's entirely up to you but this is a time where you need to be stacking your cryptocurrency whether you have a well-paid job always look to invest if you are a believer in cryptocurrency because these prices i'm not trying to make you fomo but if you are thinking in five years time they will not be anywhere near this price they would have went up and probably came back down but ultimately the direction is simple. They are going to go up. And when you look at the weekly or the monthly time frames on Ethereum, this is where it was, right? With a stupid parabolic run on speculation, the ICO hype was here. This was when Ethereum was absolutely horrible. Very low transaction speeds, very high cost, 
all the kind of stuff that you do not want to be associated with in the next parabolic run. Where could it go? Well, I'm going to say that. It's going to go back up to where it kind of needs to be. Not so much over all-time highs without any sort of like scalability solution, but a parabolic bull run and a potential ICO move again, it will happen. We know it's going to happen. Money will come in. People will be like really keen and ambitious again. It'll happen. And most people will go to the ERC20 tokens because it's easiest to get on, on with. It's easiest. It's simple. So as a target, I would eat my hat within three years to say that in 2022 we would not be beyond or even touched this region again it's at least a four figure coin it has to be if it's been there before with speculation what is it going to be there with more speculation hype and a natural real use case that works so there you go that is my overall thoughts long-term investment i think ethereum is the absolute button for you to make wealth and what i said at the start of the video is true you start at the top on coin market cap and you trickle your profits all the way down to the more risky projects you never use your own money you always use the profits that you've previously made in the more sustainable investments for example buying bitcoin early buying ethereum early buy litecoin early eos ico for example use those profits and put them at the bottom and then it'll go bang right up to the top again so there you go have a good one have a good day don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe check out my previous videos on my next video that it may be pointing to you but ultimately i will see you tomorrow and we'll talk about something a bit more interesting